JAMA Network. Kids get migraines. One out of 10 children experience migraines at the school age level. And some develop chronic migraines, having 15 or more headache days a month, like Ann Mondi. Her headache started in eighth grade and got progressively worse in high school. I miss school because of it, and um, I've missed practices for plays and sports because the migraine was so bad that I didn't think I could do any like physical activity. Dr. Scott Powers from Cincinnati Children's Hospital and co-authors studied 135 school-aged children, 10 to 17, who were having on average 21 headache days a month. They all received amitriptyline, a standard migraine medication daily for about five months or a semester of school. Half the group received weekly headache education, the other half underwent weekly behavioral therapy treatments. It really is about coping in your day-to-day -day life and the fact that you can actually have some control over turning the volume down on your pain by things that you do. Using behavioral techniques like biofeedback, relaxation, and deep breathing exercises, Anne could see how tension affected her body. Even if I was like in the middle of class, I would take 30 seconds and count and start breathing very slowly. Kind of made me aware of I'm starting to get stressed, which starts to bring on the migraines. Children that took the amitriptyline and received the cognitive behavioral treatment reduced their headache days, with two out of three having a 50% or greater reduction in headache days. The average was going from 21 headache days down to about nine. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. They were back to functioning day to day at a pretty normal level and managing the headaches they still had in a way that didn't lead to disability. Those receiving headache education also saw improvement, but it was less than those receiving behavioral therapy. Now Ann says she has options for dealing with her migraines. I'm just looking forward to being able to go out and like not worry about headaches influencing the way that I'm going to live my life. I know that my headaches aren't going to be influencing me negatively anymore. Katherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.